Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys the computer rig that I built and uh, tell you a little bit about it and uh, how it came about and uh, maybe give you a little bit of insight into uh, how things work at the Crypto Dad household. So let's get going. Okay, so uh, this is the rig. Uh, you can see it here uh, next to my wife's computer on the table where I do most of my work. And uh, the first thing you'll notice about it is uh, the LEDs that uh, I've installed and the, it's beautiful. And the special fans that I've installed. Uh, I'll go through uh, kind of step by step uh, all of the components of the machine. But uh, I thought that uh, at this moment, maybe I could show you a little bit about uh, some of the things it can do. Yeah, this is one of my more, more interesting uh, abilities of the uh, LL fans, the SPLL. Of different things that this uh, these fans can do along with uh, Corsair Link and uh, they look pretty good in this case which is uh, one of the Corsair crystal cases with uh, tempered glass okay so uh, I've shown you a little bit about uh, what the lights do I'm gonna switch the angle now let you see inside uh, what's going on in there. So I'm going to take it back to the rainbow wave we had at the beginning. Okay, so now you can kind of see a little bit inside the machine. Let me turn it a little. Okay, so as you can see the, the, the case, there's a little bit of reflection on there. Uh, I can see myself in there. But uh, what we've got are uh, some LED uh, RAM, and uh, I've got a Corsair uh, water cooling unit on there, and a GeForce GTX graphics card. Okay, so i uh, adjusted my resolution here, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about how the machine was built. Uh, the first component, of course, was the processor. I got the best processor that I could uh, find uh, for the PC enthusiast, which is the uh, Intel Core 9 uh, 7980XE Extreme Edition processor. It's not really the fastest gaming processor out there, but it is a workhorse uh, for the types of things that I do, which is uh, recording, streaming, and uh, you know, working on the machine as I'm demonstrating. Uh, you know, multiple. Uh, threads that are running. This particular uh, processor has 18 cores and uh, 36 threads, uh, so it's uh, quite a workhorse. So, uh, and that's whenever I think about, uh, I used to sell computers and uh, I've built a number of them over the years. Uh, my first uh, consideration is always the processor. Uh, wh whatever the best processor that I can get, uh, that I can afford at the time is what I start with and then uh, I build outwards from there so you know I choose the processor first um, and it normally uh, was the uh, the highest level i7 that I could get over the years and uh, you know I whenever there was a new i7 coming out uh, I would uh, plan to buy that processor and find out uh, the best motherboard that supported it uh, so in the case of the i9 7980XE, uh, the best motherboard out there is uh, the, the Prime X299 Deluxe. Uh, there, there is also a, a ROG uh, for gamers that is out there that uh, may have a little bit uh, additional features for the gaming. 
but in my case I, I like the Prime because it has more connectors and uh, supports uh, more devices um, and it looks pretty cool so uh, we got the processor and the motherboard those are the first two main components that we do uh, for any kind of build and uh, after that the next consideration of course is our memory uh, so in this case I got the LED RAM from Corsair uh, it's programmable uh, you can program uh, the uh, different lighting schemes in the uh, Corsair Link software uh, which can uh, augment uh, your fan lighting and your uh, lighting strips and uh, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM in this machine and then of course the next uh, component uh, in importance would be your uh, graphics processor and I have the GT uh, the GeForce GTX 1080 uh, I bought this card when it was the, the highest end card available from uh, Nvidia for gamers and uh, you know less than a year later they came out with the GTX 1080 uh, Ti um, and I had just purchased this card not too long ago so I couldn't really afford to upgrade to that uh, I'll probably wait for the next iteration of card to come out uh, before I you know instead of buying a Ti it's uh, but I'm uh, I thank my lucky stars that I have this card because uh, GPUs are in short supply right now and way overpriced because of cryptocurrency mining. Uh, so uh, I'm lucky that I have a, a, a decent graphics card. Ah, okay, and so the next uh, component that we uh, would think about with any system of, is our uh, you know, hard drive storage. And uh, I've been uh, using SSD drives for quite some time now. Um, the two and a half inch SSDs and then uh, when the motherboard started supporting the M2 drives uh, I got the uh, M2 drives and this is uh, I have a one terabyte SSD 960 Pro uh, there are other uh, Samsung uh, M2 drives that are available uh, maybe a little bit cheaper um, and they do they have uh, a two terabyte uh, M960 Pro as well uh, which uh, I haven't uh, laid down the bread for that yet, but I'm pretty uh, happy with uh, the drive, this drive. Uh, in general, ever since I've been uh, dealing with SSDs, uh, they're not really big enough to hold all of the data that uh, I need them to hold, and so they've been uh, utilized mostly as boot drives, and then I'll have a secondary data drive in the computer. And, uh, in this case, the one terabyte holds quite a bit, so I can uh, pretty much install most of what I need there. Uh, but I've always had a secondary drive for my data. And in the case of this machine, I believe, uh, yes. Uh, I have the uh, Seagate four terabyte gaming solid state hybrid drive. I bought this drive uh, when they first came out, and apparently they are no longer on the market. Uh, so, uh, sorry to say, uh, you can't get the four terabyte Seagate anymore. Uh, your next best uh, thing is the two terabyte Fire Cuda. I don't know why they uh, don't make a four terabyte Fire Cuda, but they don't. Uh, so, but uh, that's what's in my machine, the four terabyte. And that, that is my secondary data drive that I use. Uh, and if you'll notice over here on, on this PC, there are some other drives in there too. Uh, the local disk is the uh, one terabyte and then the four terabyte is the data drive and you'll notice that the data drive uh, holds all of the Windows uh, uh, data folders uh, the documents folder, the music folder, the pictures folder uh, they can all be moved in uh, Windows to uh, a different location and so that's usually the first thing that I do that way when I want to uh, you know, reinstall from scratch uh, I can wipe my uh, boot drive clean and then uh, after I install a clean copy of Windows come on over kid okay whenever I install it's okay. whenever I install a clean copy of Windows the first order of business is to uh, tell Windows uh, where to locate the uh, different documents you'll notice here my documents uh, folder is on the uh, D drive rather than the C drive 
and uh, makes things a lot easier. I just point and I, all my documents, music, and pictures uh, are safe on the secondary drive. So it gives me the freedom to wipe the disk clean. All right, so the next uh, thing that we're gonna deal with uh, after we get all these uh, internal components is what kind of case are we gonna put this in? And uh, so I decided to go with the uh, clear case uh, the Crystal Series 570X, and I got the white one uh, that's got the white uh, inner components. Uh, these are great cases. Uh, the only uh, problem that I had originally with the case is uh, it's not as spacious as uh, some other cases that I've used in the past. Um, but uh, now that I've been going with the uh, M2 drives and uh, the two and a half inch uh, solid state drives, um, I can deal with it. You know, the, the, the case that I had before would hold uh, four three and a half inch drives. Uh, this particular case only can hold two three and a half inch drives. Uh, but it's more than enough uh, for what I need it for. Uh, so and it's a great looking case and it's uh, a joy to work with you can take off These uh, tempered glass sides and then you're free to sort of work with the skeleton part of the case as you're building and without worrying about breaking the glass and uh, The cable management is interesting. Uh, there's uh, Most of the cables can be hidden inside this little area here So it turns out to be a great looking case when you're done and uh, I'll briefly touch on the uh, the water cooler unit is uh, this Hydro Series H100i uh, V2. It's got a LED on the top there. Uh, these can be a little bit of a pain to put in. It's probably the most uh, challenging part of your build is uh, getting the uh, radiator uh, situated and then uh, putting the uh, cooler on top of the CPU uh, it can be a little daunting but uh, I've done quite a few of them now and it's not so bad once you get the hang of it um, power supply is the uh, AX 860i um, at the moment I'm only I only have one graphics card in the machine so this is more than enough uh, power uh, to power this graphics card that I'm using uh, if I were to go with maybe uh, dual graphics, uh, this would probably still be enough. Uh, there are higher end uh, power supplies available from Corsair, but this kind of fit uh, what I needed at the price I could afford at the time. Uh, and then we'll move into the lighting. Uh, th these are the uh, double ring uh, uh, dual light loop fans uh, from Corsair and I, I find them extremely uh, versatile and uh, very nice uh, to really make it a nice looking build. Uh, and I got two three packs. I have six of them running. I'll, I've got the same setup as this over here as you can see. And uh, then I've got the Corsair Lighting Node Pro for the uh, different uh, lights and you'll notice there that I have six uh, one, two, three, four on the side, and then another two here. So uh, I had to purchase the uh, expansion kit, which gave me uh, four more light strips and four extenders. Uh, I wasn't able to get all four in there. I still got two extra kind of laying around. Uh, so that's it, basically. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this machine. And I'll mention too that uh, it's it's mostly a show machine for me. Uh, it's an accomplishment, and I like building it. And uh, I like to uh, program the lights and make it look nice. But uh, I don't overclock it at all, which I, I think some people might look at that as kind of a underutilization uh, or a downright shame. Uh, but uh, I don't push that CPU any further than I need to because uh, it does everything I need it to do without uh, over pushing it. So uh, I kind of, it's kind of like a, buying a thoroughbred racehorse and then just kind of putting them out to pasture uh, because I don't really push the machine uh, to its limits as far as the CPU goes. Uh, but that's uh, kind of the way I uh, like to deal with my computers. 
Uh, anyway, I just wanted to give you a little insight into uh, the machine that I used. And then uh, I'll briefly touch on uh, the items that I use uh, for my uh, Crypto Dad Studio. And that is the uh, Logitech Brio. I think I have that up here. Logitech Brio. Uh, I think right now it's uh, one of the, the higher-end uh, cameras that you can get, webcam-wise. Uh, does a great job. Uh, can do 4K, but I don't record in 4K. I record in uh, 1080p at, uh, because when I do 4K, I can't get 60 frames per second. I can only get 30 frames per second. And I prefer to 60 frames per second. It looks more real. High quality. High quality. And uh, I also have a, uh, I don't know if I put that on here. Yes, I, I have a uh, studio set where I have a green screen that is behind me and a couple of umbrella lights that I can use uh, for my lighting. And uh, so that's how I do my videos. And uh, I also have a Samsung meter mic. Oh yeah, sure. Of course, I'll be buying newer stuff and passing them what's left over to Crypto Daughter. I will become a YouTuber. Yes, she will. Uh, the Samsung Go mic is the uh, mic that I'm using. And where is the one that I have? I think it's this guy right here. Yeah, the meter mic. I have the black one, uh, but I'm very happy with it. I don't know see the black one on here but they do have a titanium black uh, but it's a decent microphone uh, for recording videos and uh, that's what I do so I hope you enjoyed uh, a little insight into the machine that I use and uh, the studio setup that I've got if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. I have a lot of great informative videos uh, about uh, cryptography and cryptocurrency that uh, I'm sure you'd find uh, educational and entertaining. And uh, when you subscribe, there's a bell next to the button that'll let you be alerted the next time I post a new video. Press Thanks for watching. Press that button, please.